Hello everybody, it's Mike Eric A from Scratch. And first off, happy 4th of July to the American brethren south of the border. Hope you're having a great day off. And to everybody else, this is some follow-on news to the report I did yesterday. Yesterday I did a story. I'm not going to go into a bunch of depth, so I'll link that down below. But it was about um, Unity removing Enlighten from Unity in the future version. Now, Enlighten is their light mapping solution. It was bought by an external company uh, and has been included since Unity since Unity 5. And when I covered that story, I said something in this just doesn't add up. The reasoning just doesn't make sense. And to follow things up today with a little bit more knowledge, all I can conclude is they lied or are really, really misleading on this one. Now, this isn't going to really change too, too much, but it's just kind of a scummy thing to do, especially because of the damage it could do to Enlighten as a brand. It, this this post straight out makes it sound like Enlighten is gone. Now, if you get into your weasel words here, you can go, okay, well, maybe technically they didn't lie. And that's where I get into, okay, they might have been misleading. So back to the report from yesterday. Enlighten is being replaced with another solution. Again, I'm not going to go into a whole lot of details there. And I really don't have to. This story is all about this sentence right here. It says, due to Geomeric shutting down Enlighten as a product, Unity is required to remove Enlighten. And this doesn't make sense for a number of reasons. Now, first off, Geomerics hasn't existed as a company for a couple of years now. What it boils down to is Geomerics made Enlighten as a product going back many years. And Enlighten is a very successful product. It's built into the Frostlight engine. It's used in Unity. There is a plug-in for Unreal Engine. It is um, used for a number of games out there, including, I believe, the Final Fantasy VII remake. So, way back in the day, Geomerics was actually acquired by ARM. Like, we're talking back in 2013. So, ARM owned Geomerics. Um, and obviously then they owned Enlighten. And then sometime later, sometime around, let's see, 2017, so May of 2017, uh, well, uh, Arm kept Geomerics IP. They sold off all of the technology licensing rights, development rights, and everything else over to Silicon Studio. Now, the name Silicon Studio may ring a bit of a bell to you because Silicon Studios uh, is the company that made Zenko, which they ultimately released into open source. They're no longer responsible for Zenko, but they made Zenko and they make another, uh, several other game middleware products, Yibis, uh, Mitsushi, Motion Portrait, and then, of course, Enlighten. Now, the current part about all this is it really kind of makes it sound Sound like Enlighten is shutting down. And th there's people from Silicon Studios apparently going, uh, yeah, no, we're not going away. So I actually, to go along with the story in the video I did yesterday, here it is, um, I got a response actually from Enlighten themselves. So, or, um, Silicon Studios representatives. And here, I'll just, I'll just read it to you. Uh, I am the global lead at Silicon Studio and the biz side PM of the Enlighten team. I can provide more information from our side. When we initially purchased Enlighten in 2017, we approached Unity to provide support, but we were told bluntly they had zero interest and already had invested in developing solutions to replace Enlighten as soon as possible. Geomerics is indeed shutting down all operation. However, Enlighten is not dead. A large amount of the technical issues stated in the forum are also due to Unity owning an older version of the SDK as many of those issues have been only have been not only solved but surpassed. I'll get back to that in a second. We are currently developing a large range of updates including next gen consoles which are very far along with Stadia which we um, were announced as a partner publicly at GDC 2019 in the Google presentation. We are also working on ray tracing technology and a number of other SDK updates with new features. We will be releasing the 310 SDK uh, update this summer. We were equally shocked and have officially asked for a retraction. You may contact me for further information, which by the way, that is Michael Joseph Prefontaine over at Silicon Studios. So the part that he's responding to here about those features uh, due to Uni owning an older version of the SDK, well, I commented them on this video. So basically in the link discussion from their uh, original blog post on the Unity forum, they said that these are some of the serious flaws with Enlighten as they're using it today. And what Silicon Studios are basically saying is, yeah, those flaws have been corrected in our product. So if they just continued licensing our product, these flaws would not exist, or at least most of these flaws would not exist. And this whole thing is lunacy. Had they basically just said, our license with Enlighten has expired and we don't want to renew it because we're replacing it with in-house technology. Hey, that's done. You're done. You do not create a kerfluffle. But when you say it the way you say it, like Enlighten is no longer going to be a product because Geomeric shut down. Well, it kind of gives me ghosts of, you remember the Spatial OS thing where they came out and basically said, yeah, we're, we're severing our ties with Spatial OS because they violated our terms of service. And what it really boils down to is they are going to be competing 
with Spatial OS. And so they no longer wanted them to be basically using their trademarks and logos, etc. And they also launched their new licensing program. So of course, anybody that isn't uh, already signed up and won't sign up, they went after. And the way you present these things is important. And this Spatial OS thing gave them a kind of a credibility black eye back in the day because they were kind of or exceptionally misleading about how they went about it and retroactively rewriting your terms of service to put someone into violation into it so that you can then expire their licenses. That was a crap move. That was no doubt about it, a complete prick move. And this isn't this isn't that. This this is not to that degree. But this is also these are weasel worlds. These are these are not and it sounds like something that's um they kind of make it straight out sound like Enlighten is going away. And that is damaging. That causes Silicon Studios to have to come out and say, no, no, we're still a valid product. And these things that you're saying are negatives about our product are not. It's kind of like how Unity for years and years and years and years had really limited and crappy C Sharp support because they were unwilling to update their license with, um, I guess, oh, who was that? The Mono people. Um, Xamarin. So they weren't willing to negotiate a new license for Xamarin, so they just used the massively outdated open source version of it, and there have it. So this is sort of the same sort of thing. They're very, 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 very misleading with this single statement right here. So this has nothing to do with Geomerics shutting down. Geomerics has basically stopped being an entity in 2017, and as Silicon Studios, at least from their side, claimed, they reached out to Unity, and then they just said, due to our license expiring on Enlightened, sure, I'm fine with that. That is a totally legit statement. But this, this is just straight out either a lie or a misrepresentation, and it should have never happened. Now, even the kicker is, I, I'm not just taking one side over the other here. If you go into the comments on this one, I think I need to do a reload on this particular page. So let me just refresh here. If you go into the comments on this, it's actually being addressed. So you're seeing right here, I don't understand why you directly lied in this blog post and claim that due to Geomeric shutting down Enlighten as a product, Unity is required to move Enlighten. That's not true. Enlighten still exists. It's just owned by someone else. It's not Geometrics, which is, by the way, wrong. Geomeric shutting down Enlighten. It's Unity choosing not to license it off the new owner. And then what you're seeing here is basically, yeah, that's true. Our license is with Geomeric's arm and it runs until 2013, at which point we have to remove Enlighten to comply with the contract. So yeah, that is 100% it. Why not just state that in the original post? Why not edit your post? Then you won't have a middleware maker out there asking you for a retraction and you won't look so scummy to the developer community because this kind of looks like you're sort of trying to screw a competitor, a middleware competitor. Um, and that's just bad business. You, you can't keep screwing past partners. If they, you know, if they become not partners in the future, that's fine. Just move your own separate way. None of this misleading crap. Just just state this. State this in the blog post and there is no follow-up, no drama, no need for Silicon Studio to ask for a retraction, no nothing else. And then again, and this part is a little iffy, so if you go to the forums that are linked from their main blog post and we head on down here, there is this document. Once again, it was near the top. Let me find it right here. So this is not coming from nowhere. This is coming from a Unity developer. And they're basically saying that going forward, Enlighten has all of these flaws, blah, blah, blah. Well, if they'd also said our licensed version of Enlighten, because as it stands, that borders on slanderous. And ugh, they're, they're just creating a problem here where they didn't have to. Because I, I don't know, I, I want your opinion on this. Is, is this, and it's really 100% comes down to one sentence. Due to Geomeric shutting down Enlighten as a product, Unity is required to remove Enlighten. Is that A, a lie, B, misleading, or C, totally fine? I want your opinion comments down below. Because in my view, it's either A or B. I can't decide which, and I don't think one is worse than the other. Both are a mistake. Had they just said, due to our license expiring, Legit. The way they pitched it, they did damage to Enlighten as a brand potentially, they alienated a potential partner, and they misled the developer community. And for nothing, really. I like to, to mildly save face, to just say, yeah, we don't want to renegotiate a license. I guess that looks mildly bad on them. And then to potentially say that another reason why we're removing this is because of flaws in the old version that we've got licensed, that's also a little... 
real scummy, and again, you're kind of throwing shade on who was once a partner. Um, so I can definitely get why Silicon Studios is a little rackled by this, and I honestly, I just don't fathom why Unity would go down this road. So anyways, that's it, that is the update. Let me know, what do you think? Did they lie here, is it misleading, or is it totally fine? Let me know, comments down below, and I will talk to you all later. And once again, American Brethren, happy 4th of July. Talk to you all later, goodbye.